वॉट इज दिस टू प्लस टू प्रोग्राम वॉट अबाउट द कट ऑफ टू प्लस टू प्रोग्राम और वॉट आर द वेरियस ऑप्शन वॉट अबाउट द डूल डिग्रीज और इज इट पॉसिबल फॉर अस टू स्विच स्ट्रीम लाइक इज इट पॉसिबल फॉर अस टू चेंज स्ट्रीम अपग्रेड वॉट काइंड ऑफ कट ऑफ यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट दिस इयर वॉट विल बी द वेरियस इज कैंपस इज वॉट टू प्रिफर एंड वॉट नॉट टू प्रिफर You can get admission in bits for 140 marks, or you can get admission for bits in 150 marks. Now, these kind of news and lot of videos are getting popular these days. So, in today's video, we'll deep dive into what exactly that it is. What is this two plus two program in which you can study two year in bits and two year in the abroad university for which the cutoffs are low, and what will be the cutoff and whether it is the right thing to do or not. so in today's video we'll going to see everything about the bits admission the cut off and the entire comprehensive process to get a seat at bits so uh, now that the second session uh, will get over soon uh, for the bits at it's very important that we have a clarity because the josa counseling uh, also have already started the like uh, like few rounds are over so we need to be very very mindful and careful because if we get a uh, good seats or if our marks at bits is good it might be possible that if you are not getting a good branch good seat in josa counseling maybe you can opt for the bits so uh, let's have a look into what kind of cut off we can expect this year and uh, what are the cut offs for the 2 plus 2 courses which are getting very popular that for 140 marks you can get bits and uh, what will be the various campuses what to prefer and what not to prefer so if we talk about the branch wise cut off so it is based on the historical data definitely this year we cannot we can only predict but we cannot be sure so the most uh, preferred campus is the pilani campus so for the pilani campus the computer science cut off you can see will go around 327 marks because it is the number one highest in demand so the top few kid all will choose that uh, number two will be electronics you can see around 310 to 314 marks then electrical and electronics which will be 292 mechanical 266 chemical 247 and civil 238 so they are the our prediction for uh, bitsat in pilani campus now coming to the goa campus so goa campus is the second preferred campus of bits uh, so the computer science cut off may go around 301 marks electronics and communication for 287 electrical and electronics for 278 chemical for 239 and lastly for the computer science at the hyderabad campus it might go for 298 marks electronics and communication 284 electrical and electronics for 275 and chemical for 238 so these are our prediction for this year cutoffs for bits but what about the cutoff for the 2 plus 2 program or what are the various option what about the dual degrees or is it possible for us to switch streams like is it possible for us to change stream upgrade so all that things we are going to see next now if i talk about the three campuses the three campuses are pilani hyderabad and goa now pilani being the oldest uh, it's the most preferred campus uh, it's there in rajasthan now in hyderabad and goa goa is more preferred but uh, my personal recommendation is you can also go for hyderabad now why i'm saying hyderabad because it's a hub hyderabad is an industry hub a lot of companies be in tech or in other fields are there in hyderabad so hyderabad gives you better opportunity in terms of getting an internship in terms of getting exposure in term to be relevant to the industry so all three campuses are good uh, so you can opt for any one depending on which branch you are getting and especially if you have not got a good branch in josa i'll tell you getting admission in bits is really really good in fact i apart from the old iits and few top nits i'll say that best bits is one of the top colleges you should blindly go for if you are getting the good branches or the branches you want or you looking for now coming to the 2 plus 2 international program so bits at 2 plus 2 international program has been in lot of news the cutoffs also have been slightly lower for these programs as i've told you there are lot of news videos circulating that for 140 marks 150 marks students are getting for this 2 plus 2 program so let's deep dive into that and understand what exactly this program is all about so traditionally a uh, bachelor degree is for 4 years so in this 2 plus 2 program what happens is the student can study 2 year at the bits campus and the 2 years they can go for a foreign university which have a tie up with the bits so for example uh, they can go for the central uh, university in paris iowa state university or university of buffalo 
so uh, my my uh, french is bad so i cannot pronounce this thing very uh, clearly so yeah there are various option now generally if i talk about the bits fees uh, being private college is fees on a fees are on a higher side although i'll say that is still worth it because the fees are higher but the exposure the learning happens as bits is unmatched compared to any other private college so uh, bits fees goes around you can say that per semester uh like it will be around like in this case it will be around 4 lakhs uh on the first two years and then the for the abroad part for the like third and fourth year the fees will be depending on it will be similar to the fees for this international universities so if you put it together your fees will definitely be on a higher side you can say that the overall fees might go around for the four year around 50 60 lakhs as well now is it high yes it is high but what is the advantage the advantage is that you get two degrees you won't just get the degree from bits you'll also get the degree from the other international university now you might ask me a question that if that is the case then why not do the entire bachelor's abroad so yes that's also an option but the thing is uh, when you study two year here at india and two year abroad first of all india is emerging at tech very rapidly so india gives a much much better opportunities compared to many other countries maybe except us i'll say in terms of tech india is number 2 in terms of opportunities plus it gives you exposure for both the indian sys education system as well as the abroad so that's the advantage but yes it will be slightly expensive and coming to expensive it will not be as expensive as doing entire bachelor abroad because entire doing bachelor abroad will definitely worst to us will cost around 1 cr so it will be definitely significantly less than that and you also get some scholarship depending on how you have performed but the scholarship will not be of like will not be let's say like around you can say 10 20% it will not be like let's say 80% or 100% like that uh, so yes uh, from different institute the fees might vary but it gives you the exposure so for these programs the cut off goes low now uh, for the 2 plus 2 program uh, there have not been any batch which have uh, graduated till now i think the one like uh, they will be having first batch graduating soon Uh, but yes it also have this own advantage now uh, coming to the like 2 plus 2 international program so uh, definitely like because you get two degrees you get degrees from bits as well as the prestigious international organization that's one benefit you get a idea about the global uh, employability the academic profile looks better uh, you have an nice career option because when you go abroad you learn over there you make friend you also understand how the uh, the professional world is like world is like over there so in fact many student want to settle down abroad or work abroad so it also offers a gateway for them and then it also helps in cul uh, cultural competence because without actually like see there are one thing if you try to go for full time let us say you are going for the bachelors now if you go over there you kind of stuck right but here you get benefit of both so that is the case but definitely the fees are on the higher side Uh, yes the important consideration you have to check for your academic requirement because you need to maintain a good gpa for that financial commitment as i have told you the fees will be on higher side and you have to check for your aspirational uh, adjustment like what kind of things that you are looking for now apart from the 2 plus 2 program uh, bits also offer dual degree program they offer like uh, both the degrees that is bachelor and masters in tech or you can also do be plus mba program so that is also one option at which bits gives so uh, one is a five year program that is be plus ms dual degree so in which what happens is uh, you can say that like generally bits fees will come around like 6 uh, 7 lakhs uh, around a year so the thing is if over here you will be spending extra year so definitely the fees will be on the higher side because one more year will be there but yes you get both the degrees of bachelor and masters and especially if you are looking for specialized knowledge it helps you in that regard another option is that you can go for 3 plus 2 that is uh, uh, like you can do your be plus mba so that is also one option so in that case they send you to the mumbai campus uh, where you will be doing the two year mba along with your bachelor's and uh, so now both the options are pretty good but it depends what you are looking for So, if a student who are aspiring purely for engineering, you do not want to spend five years, then you just go better go for the four year curriculum. If you are pretty confident about the tech, yeah, I want to remain in the field of engineering, then you can go for the five year course. 
but if you are someone who is undecided i am not sure what i want to do maybe who knows you want to go for consultancy you want to work at, at an investment bank so maybe mba is a pretty good option as well now uh, as i told you bits also gives an opportunity to switch branches for example let's say i uh, got uh electronics engineering but i wanted computer science so the thing is you will get an option uh, for a department change but for that you need to maintain pretty good gpa so uh, generally i'll say that for gpa for computer science will be pretty difficult because everyone wants that so gpa of 10 i'll say is the only surety that with that you'll definitely get it i'm not saying that is the minimum requirement but that's the surety but it's not just about gpa it also also about how many seats they have so for example if computer science department have a overall capacity of 70 student but 65 are already there so even through department change they can only take five they cannot take more than five so that's also a thing uh, so similarly you have different criteria for the dual degree as well as other engineering branches so for example if you are looking forward to uh, switch to electronics so obviously cutoff will be less compared to computer science so although a good gpa will ensure that you can achieve your target but it's not necessarily true because it also depends how many seats they have now coming to the fees because fees have been always a i'll say a important part for the bits consideration because it's a very good college but fees are fees are high it's pretty high uh, so generally you can expect that there's a like around five to six percent uh, increase in the fees year on year so just to basically adjust the inflation so if let's say fees uh, right now is five lakhs so if there's a five percent increase so you can think of that the fees will increase by around twenty five thousand next year so uh, that's also one thing and if i talk about the overall cost so overall cost will come around 25 to 30 lakhs uh, for the entire four year course if you are doing at the bits campus uh, but yes if you ask me is it is it worth it yes it's worth it if you are looking for a career opportunity in it so now if we have to summarize so what are the key takeaways so uh, number one is that josa counseling is over so you can check it out you can check out what happened what kind of courses you are getting at josa uh, then you can also check out what courses you might get based on the predicted cutoff for the bits now i in our earlier josa videos as well we have talked about it always always look for the first thing that is the interest Although computer science is a field which in fact I recommend to everyone because it have a lot of opportunities and it's fun. Computer science is not just I'm saying for the sake of uh, career opportunities but it's actually a lot more fun to learn that, to apply that. So uh, for example let's say if you somehow you did couldn't do really well on that single day for a J exam but you got really good result in bits then go for it. Take a best course, take computer science, take electronics whatever you are looking for. So and but it says that be mindful what exactly you want if you actually got low mark and you want to go for two plus two see the financial conditions uh, and prioritize so basically prioritize what is good for you now if in case you need any help you are getting stuck between many thoughts okay what will happen that will happen you can comment we'll definitely get back to you uh, so have a clear long term goal that's what I'll say and have a clarity of your financial like prepare your financial documentation properly so uh, that's all in this video i hope this video is useful uh, for any further query you can comment below and we'll get back to you so thank you all and wish you all the best